Hey guys, hello and welcome to the Divi Body Commerce Layout Pack tutorial. My name is Roby and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the free Body Commerce Layout Packs that you'll see us releasing on both a blog and via our newsletter. So without taking up too much time, let's get into it and let's start installing some templates. Okay, so now the first step here is that you're going to need a Divi WordPress website with WooCommerce and Body Commerce installed and activated. Okay, so the second step is you need to go to the Divi Engine website and download any body commerce layout packs that you see, might like, or want to use on your site. You can follow the link on the screen or the one that we'll post in the description of this video. Now, once there, you're going to see a readme file once you've downloaded inside of that zip folder. That'll give you some more instructions as well as any type of hints or special customizations needed for that layout pack. Now for this video, I'm going to be downloading this furniture shop layout pack that you can see and um, just save it somewhere where you can find it easily for the next step. Okay, so here in step three, we want to make sure that the basic WooCommerce pages have already been installed on your Divi install. So we're going to go to WooCommerce, Status, Tools. And then we'll see the option here on the screen when we scroll to create the pages for WooCommerce. If they've not already been done, if they are there, you don't need to worry about this step. But if they weren't created yet, just go ahead and create them here. And then we'll go to the menu section by going to Appearance and Menus. And then we're going to add these WooCommerce pages to our main menu. And you can name it anything you want. So I'm just going to call mine Main Menu. And then once that's been created and saved, I'm going to drag over the four WooCommerce pages, shop, account, checkout, and cart. And then when you're done with that, just go ahead and save that. Okay, now we might want to also customize the footer of the site. So for the fourth step here, we're going to go to appearance, customize. And then when this loads, we're going to go over to the footer section. And then for the site that I'm building here, I just want a plain black footer with no menu, one social media icon, and just the you know basic credits to let them know, well, this is my site, and get that elegant themes one out of there. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in here. And when that's all done, go ahead and hit the publish button to save your changes. All right, so now here in step five, we get into the fun stuff where we'll actually be uploading that JSON file that contains this Divi Furniture layout pack. So what we're going to do is head over to Divi and then the Divi library. And then once there, we're going to click the import button at the top here. Now, all we need to do is click the import tab and then we'll go ahead and choose the file from that spot where we saved it conveniently earlier. Now with that all set, you can go ahead and hit the import Divi Boulder layouts button. Okay, now in step six, with our layout imported, we need to go ahead and import the body commerce settings. So let's go over to Divi Engine and then Body Commerce and then Settings. Now we're gonna go to the Upload Sections area and then we'll just go ahead and select the file called divi-bodycommerce-settings.csv. We'll choose the file and then click the Save Settings button and make sure that our settings have been populated on the page. All right, so now for step seven, we wanna make sure that we're assigning these pages that we have to the various pages for our users when they browse the site. So we're gonna assign the shop page as our home page. Now to do that, we have to go to settings here on the left-hand column and then click on reading. We're gonna select a static page as our type of home page display. And then we'll just select that shop page that we populated earlier. And then after we've done that, we will save and then we can view on the front end and we'll see actually that our layout now has completely changed and we've got the beautiful furniture layout pack that we've created just for you. Alrighty, and now to get all the features within this layout pack set up, we have to year in step eight, go ahead and create the categories for our products. So for this tutorial, I'll make four categories. I'm gonna make shelves, beds, chairs, and sofas. So let's just go over here to the categories on the left hand side underneath the products tab and then open that up and then one by one here and this is going to be on speed mode I'll be adding all of these categories. 
and our categories will also need the image and the description. So you'll just hit the edit button on each category and then go ahead and paste in whatever you'd like over there. And then um, on the next tab, I'll be able to see the category page for each category. Now, as you can see, nothing's found. That is because I have not added any products to the site yet. Please note that you will want to copy and paste each URL for each category and place in the correct areas throughout your website so that the customers can find the category. For example, on the home page at the top, there's a slider with buttons for each category. You will need to add the URL there for the buttons to work correctly. Let me show you how. Okay, so like I just mentioned, here for the ninth step, we're gonna be editing the home page, the category page, the product page, account page, and so on. So we're gonna head over to Divi and then library and then we'll open up the correct Divi library layout and edit it to achieve what we want. For example, if I want to add my categories to the slider on the home page, I'll choose the shop page here and click the edit button. Now we can take a look at each of these different layouts to familiarize ourselves with the system and make changes as we see fit and correct those links for the different categories or any other changes that you might want to make. All right, step 10, time to add some products to our site. So let me walk you through how we're gonna do exactly that. Firstly, let's go to products and then hit the add new button to create a new product. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna create a chair, but feel free to create whatever you want to create as your main product. Now after creating it, there are many options for what to do. For this video, I will add an image and a description. I will also assign it to the chair category and then save my work. So now when I go back to the front end and I view my product category for chairs, I'll see this chair product that I just created listed on the page right there. All right, on to step 11 and our last step for this tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to utilize the theme builder to create a more sophisticated header and footer for your site. So let's go ahead to Divi and then theme builder. Now here you can do one of two things. You can go ahead and create a custom header and footer using the normal Divi Builder by just adding the template. Or in some of our body commerce layout packs, you'll see that there's also a JSON file that will be marked as a header and a footer that you can import right into the theme builder. Now you can import that JSON by just clicking the button right here, making sure that you're on import and that you select the file. And then you're gonna to wanna to tell it to override the default website template and then also allow import to override existing assignments. Now, when that's done, you hit that import Divi theme builder templates button, and you should see those two beautiful green templates populated on your screen right there. And that's it. And you can go in, of course, and customize these however you feel, entirely up to you. And that was it, guys. I hope you found this tutorial super helpful in showing you how you can download and install body commerce layout packs that are released by the team here at Divi Engine. I really appreciate you taking a peek at this video. I want you to have a great day and definitely let us know if anything comes up or you need any help. So with that, I'll say bye for now and I'll catch you guys in the next video.